appreciate you being here in the middle of the night. Um, I first went to my I went to my first A4M conference about 12 years ago when I had received a book called Stopping the Clock by Dr. Ronald Platts and read it and said that's science fiction and called him and asked him, do you really mean what you're talking about? And he said, yes. We talked a little bit and he said, you need to come to our conference, which I did. Since then, I've been on a program. I'm a firm believer in everything that's going on. A couple of other things that have happened to us over the uh, past 12 or 14 years of total health are that we've realized the absolutely atrocious situation that's taking place with um, laundry detergents and their disposal as well as prescription drugs and their disposal and that's what I'd like to talk to you about today. In 1955 when puppeteer Jim Henson's now internationally famous uh, and beloved Muppet Kermit the Frog first informed us for those of you that might remember it's not easy being green Little did he realize his statement would vocalize the most serious conundrum we as humans and this planet as a whole may ever face. We live in a toxic world. Wherever we reside, wherever we work, wherever we play, we encounter toxic substances that can damage us, make us sick, and unfortunately even kill us. Oops. Toxins are found in the food we eat, the water we drink, and the air we breathe. There are hundreds of ways toxins enter our workplaces and our homes, including the laundry detergents we use and the pharmaceutical drugs we consume and think that we've disposed of. Every toxic substance can damage the body and any amount of exposure to toxic substances is detrimental to human health. Total toxic load is the cumulative impact of exposures to multiple toxins, which can poison our organs, drain our energy, cause cancer and other autoimmune and killer diseases. So not only is it not easy being green, depending on your definition of the category of green, it may be nearly impossible. Can we slow or stabilize what's going on with climate change? Can we develop clean transportation, renewable energy sources, mandate against GMO-laden foods, and reverse the endemic pollution of our waterways, groundwater systems, and our soil? Possibly if we can come together in a united effort of individuals, governments, and complexes. Now we're on track. However, in the interim, the cascade of these insults to us as humans will continue to challenge our existence from prenatal through the demands of our geriatric years. I don't know, I guess you're all probably aware of the fact that today a fetus receives about 235 different chemicals in its blood during the time of gestation, which means they're already being born with total toxic, with toxic load. Those of us who are in our 70s uh, probably have more of it than we'd ever like to even consider. Over the past few decades, it's also been proven that washing laundry and harsh chemical detergents and consumption of pharmaceutical drugs each can significantly compromise the human immune system. At this juncture, we can't predict their congregate impact on these at-risk populations, including the pregnant women and fetuses, children, the elderly, chemical-sensitive individuals, etc., who are continually receiving traces of laundry detergent, industrial chemicals, and prescription drugs through bodily contact, the air, and our water supplies. It's proven, however, that these pollutants can have significant negative effects on humans, aquatic life, and the ecosystem in general. When we take into account that Americans spend approximately six billion dollars on laundry detergents a year, which accounts for nearly one billion tons of toxic water flowing through our septic systems and water treatment plants into our rivers, lakes, streams, oceans, groundwater, and unfortunately our homes, it raises concern for every sector of our society, particularly for those of us who are involved in the wellness community. Wastewater treatment plants, detergents are one of the most difficult chemicals to attempt to remove from the water. The same problem occurs when clothes are washed in detergent. The chemical residue remains in the laundry and is absorbed by the people through the skin and nose, exacerbating numerous health problems afflicting and affecting, 
excuse me, millions of individuals. Detergents literally wash the life out of fabrics, constantly weakening the fibers and fading the colors. The large amounts of lint in, lint in your dryers uh, points to the damage done by fabric detergents, to fabrics by detergents. To top it all, laundry detergents accumulate in the outer drum of the washing machines, and each time a new load of laundry is washed, this chemical sludge goes right back into the water to further pollute the fabrics. So consequently, the laundry room is really a basic time bomb loaded with the gills with phosphate detergents and caustic chemicals, including bleach, spot removers, and fabric softeners. Equally concerning are the suspected carcinogenic compounds yielded by these detergent-based cleaning supplies. And welcome side effects include allergies, skin irritations, and rashes that are caused by dyes, phosphorus, perfumes, and other additional allergens added to chemical detergents.